Okay, so real quick, uh, it's me again, Chris, with investingwithchris.com, and I had a couple questions regarding trigger orders, and I also want to clarify that trigger orders are the same as limit orders, okay? Some brokers, I, I guess, change the name, but the traditional limit order term is straight here from Investopedia, and I'm going to show you a couple platforms, or at least the one I use and then show you how to use those correctly and basically get you to understand, always use those. Um, a limit order is a type of order to purchase or sell a security at a specified price or better. For buy limit orders, the order will always be executed only at the limit price or a lower one, while for sell limit orders, the order will be executed only at the limit price or a higher one. So it's obviously in your favor versus the broker and the market makers. You have a market price, which is currently what stocks and cryptos are trading at. And then you have, if you just go in, for instance, pro Coinbase, I can sit here and buy, for instance, I can't really do it now. Let's uh, do the max sell. Uh, I have an open order. Let me just cancel that for you guys so, so I can show you. Max, I'd be selling my Bitcoin, and then if I hit place sell order, it would give me the market price. And if it's not fast enough, or if your broker that you're using the platform isn't fast enough, it may feel more um, or higher depending on when you hit the button and when it actually gets filled. There's no guarantee. I always stress in all my videos and all to uh, always to my students to always use these limit orders because this is where you're going to control your prices, guys. It doesn't matter if you're buying or selling, if you're shorting or if you're buying stocks, selling cryptos or buying cryptos, you want to use limit orders. That's just common sense with, with when you start getting into trades and everything. I know that some of you may be quick, but I'm just going to tell you, you need to practice being quicker by using the limits. Limit orders, good till cancel, stuff like that. Now, you have over here the SEC also, the definition of limit order is an order to buy or sell a stock at a specific price or better. A buy limit order can only be executed at the limit price or lower, okay? So again, that's putting it in your favor. If you go into market and you do this with market, you're, you could get any price. And stocks and, and all these crypto prices are working off the last price sequence. So whatever's traded the last price, when you put in that uh, play sell order or buy sell order, uh, buy order, sorry, you're going to get filled at a price that you may not be happy with. So always use the limit to buy or limit to sell. Now these stop losses is technically if I'm selling a stop price, um, if it goes up, then it's going to hit that. It's pretty much like a limit. I only use these um, stop losses for when I'm trying to get out of a stock if it happens to dip on me. So I would put a stop price at, say, for instance, 54,663, and then it would get out of that. It would at least attempt to get out of that the best price. So it's almost like a limit order, but it's it's to close out your position in case it goes against you. Same thing, if you're shorting a stock, the stop price is going to stop you out at a little bit higher price than what you got in at. Um, and that's just to give you some leeway or margin of error in case, you know, obviously you're wrong if you're trading. If you're investing, you really don't, I technically don't use stop losses um, for these things. It, I just use limit buys and limit sells. Now, um, I think Kubi, or however you pronounce this, was another platform that one of you had asked me about and to explain trigger order a little bit better. It's the same thing as a limit order, okay? You're, you're basically triggering it to be, uh, to be a specific limit price on your crypto. It's the same as a limit order, okay? It even says right here, the features of trigger, trigger order are as follows, the trigger order uh, order function now is available in the spot and margin trading section not applied to quick margin at the moment and it applies to two types of orders limit and market the order quantity and price must follow the existing trading restrictions okay um, the trigger order may not necessarily be triggered affected by factors such as price restrictions account balances 
trading parity listing, network of, uh, abnormalities, or system upgrades, the trigger order may fail to be triggered. Okay, if there's so much volatility and volume going on all at once, you're gonna see your trigger orders, your limit orders probably not even being met. And I'm gonna show you over think or swim um, what you can do. You basically have to cancel it, get back in it. A lot of you guys aren't using think or swim. Subscribers of mine in this channel are actually for the crypto side, but the whole intention of what I was trying to do was to teach you guys stocks, options, and the true, um, true meaning behind investing. But then the channel kind of diverted over to crypto, which is the hot topic right now. And don't get me wrong, I have three or four platforms and brokers uh, or just accounts that I'm using for crypto and it's made me a lot of money. Um, but this is going to be my investing account. It's it's a $5,000 account. I grew it to about uh, 14 or 15,000 now. Um, and I'm going to show you just exactly what I've done and how I managed some of my uh, some of the hedge positions that when something goes down, I'm still going up and in, 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 on the short side because what I use is stock options and how to sell those against my positions. Um, if you've been watching me, I've, I've talked about this numerous times, stock options are very complex, um, but if I can learn it, you can learn it, and I truly believe that. Um, also, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't want you guys thinking you should go out and buy ACB, hemp, uh, Coca-Cola, or any of these positions. The, obviously, I am down 2,000 overall, but I'm also up in a couple of these. When the market goes down, I kind of make up uh, on the downside because I'm selling covered calls against that. And if you don't know what a covered call is, just research it, find one of my older videos, go to my website, whatever the case may be. Um, and just research covered calls. Two of the things that I highly, uh, I don't want to say recommend because like I said, <laughs> I have to make these disclaimers, but two of the things that I personally do is any stock that I'm always interested in buying, I sell a put, okay, if it's optionable. Selling a put basically lowers that price to which you want to get into that stock at anyways, but it gives you a premium. That's free cash to you before you even get into a stock. The next thing, as soon as I'm assigned or put into that stock, I then sell a covered call at the money or depending on how fast I got into it and what the price is uh, the next day or so, I'm gonna look at 45 to 30, uh, 30 delta out of the money and above the price to, uh, to which the stock is trading at. And that will give me not only the price to be able to what I purchased it at and sold it at at a much higher price, but I also capture a premium for writing that contract against it um, so that's I'm not going to get any I'm not going to get into the complexities of all that I don't want to confuse you but just those two things I sell a put and then pretty much I immediately sell a covered call if I get put that uh, those the shares uh, so yeah I, I sell the covered call against those shares if I get put that position so anyways um, to do a limit order I'm going to go create closing order for example if I want to close this out for $88 I don't really want to do this. I want to let it ride out over the weekend so this option becomes uh, less valuable and I can buy it back much cheaper and take in more premium. But anyways, I always have my order set to default limit, not market, not stop, stop limit, trail stop, trail stop limit, market order to close uh, or limit order to close. It's literally limit and then good till cancels. That's all I mess with. Um, I can put this down to 56 and as you've seen, uh, let's see what what am I on VDR no ACB let me create this closing order again one more time the market value is at 60 uh, maybe I don't want the market value I want it at 56 I would slide this down and just like in the uh, other broker platform uh, let me show you this real quick I want to do a limit to sell Bitcoin and then I'm gonna set the price to which I want it for let's just put in a hundred thousand and then it will only sell if Bitcoin hits 100,000. This is limit, go down to advanced, should be good till cancel, there you go, post only and allow taker. Uh, the difference between this, your order may execute as a maker order or taker order. Click here to learn more. Set the buy or, or set the sell limit to as is, whatever I wanna sell it at and hit uh, play sell order. And it sets in the system until the Bitcoin or whichever coin I'm trading goes up to that price. So if you want to get into it, just literally look up the difference between maker fees, 
taker fees, uh, the maker fees, trading fees, Coinbase. See, as you can see, there's there's no difference. But really, I mean, if you're trading those lot levels, then the the, the difference of those fees are just as it shows in this table. Um, I want to read more into that. I'm, I don't really use Coinbase. I've converted over to Nexo, Uphold, some of the others for longer term positions. I'm not really trading. I am kind of trading this Bitcoin. I can double my money. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you now understand the difference between um, market orders, limit orders, or trigger orders. They're really easy. You're controlling your prices. You're not letting the market control your price. So anyways, if there's any questions, drop them down in the comments. Let me know what video you want to see next. Make sure you like and subscribe.